Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our Dali School. In this episode we're looking at Dali Max Level and very simply Dali Max Level limits the power use of a Dali device. If you're a sustainability officer or somebody who's looking after a building and you want to save money this is a great episode for you because with this setting you can easily save up to 10, 20 or 30 percent of your building's lighting power usage without installing any hardware. This is really quick easy simple solution with big benefits so you might want to be going to the board with this one and might be up for a promotion the other great thing about this is it does not require reprogramming of a connected BMS or control system so you can leave your BMS and control system as it is and we'll go through later how this is possible and also it saves money with any site that has Dali ballast what that means is there are some sites who start off with Dali and then maybe because of construction budgets they don't end up putting in the control system they just turning the lights off manually with a switch but if you change this setting in the ballast even if you're turning your lights on and off by cutting the power you can still save up to 30 percent quite easily and the last point there it only works with daily dimmable devices and the reason that's in there is sometimes people use a daily relay to turn lights on and off so that you can all be controlled from the daily system while that's all good and fine you're not going to get any of the great power savings that you get from fixing up these settings that we're showing you in these episodes okay let's get started here is the master configurator software again our light is selected over here address 33 now in quick test we can control the light and here we can control the intensity now what's also important is that when we change the intensity we're not just changing the brightness we're actually changing how much power the light will use and this is important because with max level we can reduce how much power a light can use all right so let's have a look at some of the different settings so here we're at hundred percent so this is the most amount of power that the light will use and when you have a non dali light it's using hundred percent all the time but with Dali, we can pick and choose how much power we want the light to be using. So I can drop this down here to uh, this setting here. Now, if I hit send, we should see here this is the intensity. So here we're down to 90%, and now our light is using a bit less than 8.5 watts. So even though we've got a 10 watt rated light, doesn't mean that light has to use 10 watts. With Dali, we can pick whatever we want. So let's pick another setting here. This should be 80%. So here the light's using around 7.5 watts. So we've got a 10 watt light. We want to knock three quarters of the power off. We can set it here to 80%. Now we're using 7.5 watts. All right, and drop it down one more. Okay, so here we've got 70%. And as you can see, we're a little bit over 6.5 watts. This will also work with fluorescent lights, so you might have twin 28 watts or you might have twin 36 watts T8s. If they're in Dali, you can reduce this setting. Even with fluorescence, you will save just about as much power. And just because we're recording, let's go right down. So we're set at 1% and we're using about 1 watt or a little bit less. So this sort of shows you how low you can go if you want. Okay, now finally, let's turn the light off because I know a lot of people are worried that Dali does use some power when the light's off. And here, let's have a look. The power meter is registering zero watts. It's capable of showing anything that's 0.1, and the light uses that little power that it doesn't even register. Let's just show some of the people out there who want to put in relays to reduce the amount of power that's coming out. The, a good quality Dali light uses almost next to nothing. So before I show you how to set the max level and save it into the ballast, just want to go over here some opportunities that you should be looking out for at your building. Now any commercial building will have the lighting designed by a professional lighting designer and it's the lighting designer's job to put forward a design to ensure that the building has enough light for the occupants to work. The lighting designer factors in many elements and one of these is end of life of the light or the tube. So what the lighting designer does is they design the space with additional light initially so that after five years or whatever the rated life of the lighting is when the building light output has degraded it still must meet the relevant lighting level. So the point of knowing this is that if you have a new building then your lighting should be around 20% more than what the standard says. So therefore you can use the maximum power level to set your lights to only use 90 or 80% of the power. 
and if you're looking after an older building then you can still take advantage of using maximum power level if you change all your tubes and bulbs to new ones. So remember older tubes and bulbs still use their full power of light even when they're aged and putting out less light as a result. So with max level you can change the bulbs, drop the max level down and you can receive power savings straight away. The next thing that a lighting designer has to do is he has to make sure the light is evenly distributed and what that means is he cannot put a light too far away from other lights and in some situations this will result in the space being brighter than the standard but the lighting designer has done his job because the light is evenly distributed. However with max level you can now reduce that over lighting and keep the lighting distribution that the lighting designer initially put in. Another thing to look out for is area functionality and that means that you may have an area of the room that doesn't have computer screens or has a different function or is just for storage you can use max level and drop the lux level of that area without affecting the entire room. And another one to look out for is your building may have natural light near windows you can quite easily just knock down the power usage of the lights that are near the windows you will have that much natural light coming in that it won't affect it this of course does depend on what your working hours are if there are a lot of hours at night this may not be appropriate but every building is different all right now let's show you how to change the max R power level in the Dali ballast this is very similar to changing your tubes to those LED saving tubes or those T5 adapter tubes except that you don't have to change any hardware and you can get a lot more savings and you have a lot more flexibility. If you do have a Dali building and a salesman has convinced you to put in the LED tubes or the T5 adapters, beware, do not do it. Your Dali system can get you much more savings and you don't have to change any hardware. Now before you do this you also want to make sure you've got a light meter. You don't want to be changing the maximum level of fittings to be a really low level and be under the standard and make sure you get a good one. You don't want to be downloading an app on your iPhone because they're not calibrated devices you need to buy a device that is specifically designed to measure light so you simply just move the slider here to the percentage that you want to be your new max level then hit save and that's it that will now be saved into the ballast and to give you a quick demonstration what we'll do is I'll set the max level to something a bit lower to make it obvious okay and then now we'll go over to our downline and and then what we're going to do is just pull the power out and then we'll put the power back in and you'll see that the power has remained at the minimum level that we set. So even if you have a control system sending commands to the light, if you set the max level here, it just will accept those commands but it will never go over that limit you set and at any time you can come back and increase it if you need more light or decrease it to save more power.